All right. Subcourse EN 5155 Edition A, User Army Engineering Center and School Carpentry 1. Uh, let us try Army Institute Professional Develop Army Correspondence Course Program. Carpentry 1, Subcourse EN 5155 Edition A, United States Army Engineer School, Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri 65473. Seven credit hours, Edition J, July 1995. Table of contents, subcourse overview, administrative instructions, grade certification instructions, lesson one construction prints, building materials, part A, construction prints and construction prints, building B, part B, building materials, part C, building materials, uh, bill of mill materials, C, building materials, practice exercise, engineer, answering key and t t feedback, lesson tool, tools and equipment, care and use of hand tools, care and use of power and machinery, practice ex and exercises, answer key. Feedback, examination, appendix A list of acronyms, appendix B recommended reading list, student inquiry sheets. Well, this page is intentionally left blank. Lesson 1, Construction, Printing, and Building Materials. Uh, introduction. One of the basic skills of the carpentry is the ability to read, to understand, and interpret the architectural drawings. Architectural, draw architectural drawings consist of the preliminary sketch construction prints. Carpenters should also know the how to proper, um, prepare and build a bill of materials with the requisition materials needed for the construction project. They also may also be familiar with the basic, basic building materials such as lumber and hardware. Part A, construction prints and um, building. A set of construction prints, also called working drawings or a set of plans, consist of all the drawings necessary for the carpenter to construct a building set and compose the plan view called plans, elevation views called elevations, and detailed drawing code, sectional and details, sections and details, the schedule of the drawings, the notions, the notes, and information called specifications, specifications, consist of information such as the quality, quantity of the material, the construction method to be used, those well-drawn, set out plans, well-written specifications will help prevent disagreement, misunderstanding, purpose of the construction and printing, if this is to be accepted, this is the shape of the size and the general scale and size of the dimension, it is very important to know how to read the reuse and construction prints. One one information and drawing. Drawing certain different line with um, different lines, sim scales and symbol to read all the draw read the drawings. You must be able to interpret these items. They also include other information in the form of the schedules, notes, and tables. A schedule of drawings, a schedule of drawing list with the drawing number, the title, the sheet number, the table one one. It is usually the first drawing in the set of the prints. Schedule one one, schedule of the drawings, drawing number thirteen twelve with the plans one of two of two and thirteen four one, one description window details one of one, ninety nine through ninety eight. The standard details one of two, thirty four nineteen wood framing, shop heavy duties one twelve of twelve. Um, general notes. The general notes uh, notes given in additional information with this need in figure one, for example, the item for the three for the, the carpenter. Um, show the reference TM5303 with the building shell requirements for the national stock number, the building of the materials, refer to TM5303 for the facility number, the building, woodwind frames as built based on the standard shop, heavy duty buildings, column heights of the reduced set of the clear of the height is 13 feet within the 3.6 and 3.962 meters given the below the deck work fixtures. Graphic ratio scale. To cover the scale for the object of being represented with the different scales are you for the drawings, figures 1 1. Um, show for the scales. Shows the scales through um, section number 1, 5 foot, 10 foot, 1 foot, 2 foot, 3 foot. Scale number 2, 1 foot, 1, 6 and inches, and 1 foot, 2 foot, 3 foot. Scale number 4, 6 and a half inch, 1 foot, 3 foot, 3 foot. And scale number 5, 0 foot, 3, zero, three, three inches, 6 inches, 9 inches, 11 inches, 1 foot, 1 inch. 1 quarter inch is equal to 1 um, foot, 1. 1 quarter inch of the drawing equals 1 foot over the, over the balling, the ratio scale. Lines and drawing, the figure one, three page with one, four of the line conventions must also be working drawings, visible lines, height, and unbroken as you visit for the primary feature of the drawing, the drawing for the object. This line convention will represent with the edge and intersection of the two surfaces with the surface limit. If the visible with the view or vertical um, viewing angle of the drawing, the lines are often called outlining height, hidden lines of medium weight with line with evenly spaced short with the dashes representing the edge of the intersection of the two surfaces. The surface limits where it is not visible with the viewing angle of the drawing. Center lines of thin light with the line composed with alternate long so the short dash is consistent length with the is called with the center line used to signify the center of the circle and arc to divide with the object with the equal of the symmetric part of the dimension line. A solid continuous line terminating the arrowheads at each end of the dimension lines are broken on 
only to the writing of the dimension on construction drawing the dimension lines are unbroken the printer of the arrowhead starts with the extension lines which mark the limits for the dimension with the dimension of the expression of the feet in inches architectural drawings and the feet in the decimal fraction for the float for the engineer drawing extension line extension line is a thin light or the unbroken line indicate the extent of the dimension line the extension line extended with the visible lines of an object but it is not convenient to draw with the dimension line directly between the um, visible line there's also a small piece between the extension line and the visible line our visual visual line convention um, heavy unbroken lines used integrated with the edge of the object examples circle and square hidden lines dash line minimum line, medium, medium lines with evenly spaced dash used to indicate the concealed edges um, Center lines, a, the, this line made up of long and short dash is alternately spaced, consistent with the length of the dot, and um, length usually indicating symmetry about the axis location center. Dimension lines, all of these are terminated arrowheads to each end of the usually indicated measure. Um, extension lines, thin unbroken lines used to indicate the extent of the dimension. Architectural symbol, these symbols used for the drawing show the type of the location, door, windows, material conventions, to understand the construction drawings, you must be able to recognize and interpret these symbols, figure 1-4. Aluminum, al al aluminum, magnesium, asbestos, magnesium, asphalt, um, babbitt, lead, beryllium, berlin, brick, brick, bricks, bricks, small scale, cast iron, my, my malleable iron, chalk, cinders, cinder block, coal, compass, and composition, and mosaic, mosaic, mosaic Concrete, concrete, masonry, all units, con container board, um, copper, brass, cork, cut stone, earth, electrical insulation, electrical winding, electrical magnets, fabric, flexible machine, material, felt and felt, felt and leather, fiber, fine brick, glass, and transition material. Glass, glass cross section, gravel, the inch of insulation, thermal, uh, statistic, um, acoustics, liquids, marble, material, fissionable. Double hung window, uh, metal plywood, porcelain, reinforced concrete, rock, um, roofing tile, sand slate, special alloy, special right, wrought iron stone, stucco, plaster, single door extension, exterior wall opening in, um, tile ceramic, structure facing tin to titanium wire mesh, wooden with grain, cross grain blocking, zinc, rubber, plastic, and TC tile. One, two, working drawing. Working drawing specifications are over the main surface of the information, but the supervisor technique can the first problem with the actual drug construct the act construction with the drawing gave the complete graphic description of the structure to be erected with the correct construction method to be filed. The set with the working drawings include both general detailed drawings, general drawings, or a plan with the elevation details consists of the section of the detail of um, like view site plan and site plan, also called the plot plan. The figures 1 5 show over the plot, boundary for the construction site, location for the building, relation with the boundary of the ground, over the contour of the roads of the work. Also, may show utility lines such as sewer, gas, and water, the type of the plan to implement drawn with the survey area with which by the location of the corners building at a specific distance from the established reference point. Uh, this is your picture of a site plan. Um, Elevations, elevation drawings are commonly used to show the exterior of the view with the structure of the front, rear, left, and right side of the show the picture of the back of the view, and then it would be actual up, up here in the vertical plane. This must have the good overall idea of the structure before you examine it in detail. Elevations also show type of doors, windows, drawings, and scale, and how they will appear with the front structure. With except, ask yourself, does your structure have simple roof, the floor level, the closed, the ground level, the grade? Show the elevation side, the side elevation, opposite side, similar finished roof, finding a fine grade, ridge venture. Ventilator front and elevation, back elevation, landing floor, and, um, platform steps, final, fin, fin, fin floor, final grade, fin grade. Elevations are made more likely assessing, uh, assessing certain lines by adding the straight lines to represent the type of the materials you've on the exterior lines with the accent with the window with the door roof with the building outlines. With extended lines, you must assume that the light could come from the certain direction that extended with the lines with the, um, represent shared areas. Use the straight lines to suggest texture exterior materials in the form of the architectural rendering. Rendering is applied with the architectural drawing. Is used with the pencil, ink, watercolors combination of these to depict paint a structure bringing it out of the form and shape. And that concludes waterproof, cement cap, gravel roof, gravel roof flashing flat, finish ceiling, finish floor, finish grade, concrete, porch, um, see your shingles, concrete step. 
Scale one quarter is equal to one foot. A floor plan. A floor plan is con con um, a cross sectional view of the building and horizontal cross co 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 crosses all the openings regardless of the height of the floor. The development of the floor plan shown in figure 1 8 with H 110. Note the floor plan show the outside shape of the building arrangement, size, and shades of the room. Typical of material and the length of the thickness and character of the building walls, particular floor. A floor plan also include the type of the width and location of the doors and windows, the type of the location, utility, insulation, location of the stairways, type of the typical floor plan. Floor plan is also shown in Figure one nine with the page one eleven, drawings and specification. Drawings and specifications inform contractor, owner, owner, man, materials dealers, trades, um, trades people of this decision made of the architect and the owner of the structure floor of the plans. Usually drawn to the scale of the one quarter to one foot or three sixteenths of an inch to one foot. The symbols are used to indicate a different type of the fixtures and materials. Electrical heat no electrical heating plumbing layouts are either on the floor plan or separate drawings attached to the floor plan. To view the floor plan details, detailed drawings may appear. On the plan, separate sheets that are attached with the plan. When detailed drawings are separate short sheets, the reference symbol is drawn on the floor plan. Door window scheduled reference with the plan. See the sample um, sample two one table one one two on the page one ten sample shown by the information given on the schedule. Are your perspective view showing the cutting of the plane and plane at W X and Y? Um, cutting plane W X and Y and Z top removed. Develop floor plan W X and Y and Z. Door schedule window schedules. And then you have a uh, typical floor plan with lighting and electrical and all the uh, swinging uh, and fixtures and everything else. All right, detailed drawings. Section detailed detailed drawings are on the larger scale of the plan, the elevation to give it more elaborate information to mention detail. For example, they may give the size of the material, show the placement of the parts in relation to each other. Sections and sections are drawn with a large scale, showing the detailed particular construction feature, but they cannot be a general drawing. Though, though height, materials, fastening, support system, and any concealed um, features. Wall section, a typical section with the part that identified with the name of the side with the illustration with the figure 110 figure um, show that the structure looks, looks and then when cut with vertically with a cutting plane with the wall section are very important. Construction of the supervisor then craftsmen would do with the actual building. They show the construction of the wall as well as the way the structural members and other fixtures are with the joint to do it and well the sections are extend vertically from the foundation bed and bend to the bed to the roof. Section are classified typically with the specification figure 1-1 one, one, show the um, typical window section. Um, BB, typical section, typical section to you for the show, the construction feature for the repeated many times throughout the structure, specific sections with the particular construction um, occurs only at once in the night, and it should not show clearly in general drawing, cutting plane, and pass through the portion. 110 shows uh, your roofing, shooting, thrust, thrust, thrust beam, um, the lath, the guide, the side gashing, the guide, the sheeting, the guide, side slashing, guide, ha um, hard press fiber board, one in the of an inch base, finished floor, subfloor, joist. Figure one one shows the window section, um, hand jab, head jab, the side jab, pulley style, sash jab, jab, sash pulley, pull, pocket opening, upper slash weight, rough um, pulleys, rough casting, ro um, ropes to attach the slash, building paper, pull, pulley style, gro gro groups of receiving side and side, side sill, apron style, stool inner grind, portion strip, excess panel weights. Two details that are large scale drawing with a show of the faster um, feature with the don't um, do, do not appear they appear on a two small scale on the plans elevation section section should be with the builder various parts of um, plans or parts are connected with the plays the details do not have the cutting plan cutting plan with indication but are lowly um simply noted with the code that the construction code in the doors gate is are usually shown in detail with the drawing figure one through over with the one fourteen or some typical door frames typical details window window wood framing details and envy detail with the simple with the type of the con site the other details with the customer shown, shown are simple with the girder and joint connections of the, in the stairways. Figure 113 and 115 show the stairway with the drawn with the, um, drawn in the plan with the Howard riser tray with the information given. For example, on the plan with the down 17 risers foul with the arrow means that there are 17 risers in the run of the stairs going through the first floor with the first floor below in the dis um, direction indicated with the arrow. The, the rising tread diagram provides the height and the width information stand for the riser for the uh, or height of the bottom tread over the bottom of the next tread ranges from 6.5 to 7 inches. Tread width is usually such that the such um, some of the riser tread is about 18 inches. A seven inch riser and eleven inch tread is standard. On the plan, the distance between the riser and the um, lines is the width of the tread. Right, this shows the um, exterior door details. They have eave details. You have the roofing paper sheathing, um, rafter, bottom cord, double top plated stud, the insulation, roofing paper, batter, trim, filler paste, drip board, face board, insulation. All right, your uh, head of the exterior door details the head. 
show the insulation board cheating of the drill cap um, trim frame panel board double header trim top and then sill trim panel board threshold sim trim frame trim finish floor subfloor joist window details um, sheeting bed and trim roofing paper to do the drip cap at the top of the transom transom chain head the slash trim double header to insulation stud and the sill of the window details show the hinge of the frame um, hinge trim the filler block girt girt, girt sill sheeting Stud, bat and, bat and apron, sill, stash, and stop. Figure 13 shows stairway steps, how to use them um, ruler, and you space them out evenly with a tread and rise, and of the floor to the, to the floor height, up to 17 hours down, 17 risers. Um, wooden frame drawing, farm... Framing plan show the side of the number of locations structural member the counts due for the build of the frame where separate the frame planes may be drawn with the uh, for the floors, walls, or frames. Floor frame frame floor framing plan must be specific to the side of the specific joints and girders columns we need to use to be support the floor. The detailed drawings are added if necessary to show the methods for the anchoring joint for the girders for the column foundation wall, the footings for the wall frame pan show the location method of the framing the opening slowly. Heights is, um, so the studs and posts must be cut and the roof of the plan and show that the construction of the rafters you have the span building support of the roof, size of spacing roof and the slope and then all necessary details are shown working prints for the, for, the, for the theater of the operation of the building usually show the details of all framing. F light wood framing. Light wood light framing is used for the barracks and bath houses, bath houses, administrative buildings, light shop with hospitals with similar structures, detailed drawings, foundation walls, footing post girder details normally used for the same TO construction as shown in figure fourteen and page one sixteen. All right, your wood post construction show of the stud interior base hole of the finish of the southern subfloor with the joist girder with termite shield that used in tropical tropical or subtropical climate. So to, to the solid bearing for wood post created sided exterior finish sheathing wood foundation footing girder clean joist um, joist cleaning shoe finish floor base interior fly, um, finish stud. All right, your concrete foundation footing of the concrete foundation and wall, um, ground level, the anchor bolt, the plate, the header, the joist, um, the sole plate, the base shoe, the finished floor, the subfloor, the side, the exterior, flat, flat. The various details overall, overall flaming over the 20 foot wide building include the ground level, the windows, opening the brace, and the splice for the nomenclature for the frame, as shown in figure 115 and pages 117. Um, construction drawings show the type of the footings and size of the various members that some of the drawings give the various length while the others are the required length of the company with the building of material figure of the figure 116 page 118 show the show the floor flaming details showing the roofing footings and boat post girders joists reinforced section of the floor from the heavy loads to section view with the curve of covering making up the certain section scab of the joint and the girders to the post and post bracing details placed on the from the cross section longitudinal section. All right, we're going to flip this view. All right, this is your um, figure 115. is the light framing, the detail of the, the 20 foot wide building. All right, this shows that the first we'll go over the um, thrusted rafter. You have two six inch, um, two six, um, two, two, two by six inch ceiling truss, two by six inch um, thrust devices, two by four stud, two by four plate, two by four filler, two by four knee brace, two by four brace, from one sixteenth, one and six inches vertical brace, one and eighth inch rafter tie, two and quarter and two and four inches rafter. All right, this shows from the left down corner plate and corner brace top plate with a trusted rafter, corner post, knee brace, girt, and solid plate with a subfloor sill. Center is the splice plate and the C detail from the trusted rafter. Left side is your show of the breakdown. Um, footing details show the girder sill with the scab and post and footing. Um, splice plate stud, knee brace, girder, window opening of joist, girder sill, scab, footing below ground, ground level line. Our floor laminating detail for the 20 foot wide of the building. Um, so section A, joist, scab, post, girder, grade. Section B, joist, grind, post, splice, bat, scab, grade. Section C, splice, girder, grade, grab, still grade, post. Section D, scab, post, girder. Section E, scab, post, girder, scab. Post, um, post bracing details, cross section, um, grade, one, one and six inch, one inch, six by, by six inch bracing, two and by six inch brace block um, between joints and beams, three to five foot, um, one six inch bracing grade. Or your um, floor framing, joist, girder, scab, footings, post, splice, sill, girder, scab, and um, we'll flip this back the way it was. Uh, 
Or you have your rafter type spacer plate with a rafter plate with a corner plate, um, corner brace plate, splice plate, door opening header with a stud, the bottom plate with stud, girder, corner plate, rafter. Your typical wall panel planning for framing detail, um, window opening, splice, um, splice plate with splice plate, stud, windows opening, top plate, stud, girder with a corner brace and um, bottom plate. Example of the drawing show the makeup of the various trusted rafters given in the figure 118. The wood on 40 foot with trusted rafters showing the pre preparation. Partial bearing with the same shown with the UA. The drawing show that the splices required with the bracing details show with the top plate, one end with the rafter side of the members. Our right, view 40 foot trusted rafters using partial bearings. Um, two six inch ra two by six inch rafter, one by six inch brace, two by six inch brace, um, two by four vertical brace, two by four knee brace, two by four by four split uh, splice plate, two by four top plate, two by four studs, two by three, two by six um, splice plate, two by six bottom cord, two by six um, splice plate, two by six stud, two by six top wall, two by six two by eight vertical brace, two by one by six cross range. All right, view B, the 20-foot typical truss rafter. Um, 2 by 4 stud, 2 for the little block, the 2 by 6 bottom cord, splice plate, um, 2 by 4 bra brace, 2 by 4 stud, 2 by 4 top plate, 2 by 4 filler block, 1 by 16, um, 1 by 6 rafter tie, vertical brace, 2 by 4 brace, 2 by 4 rafter, 2 by 4 top plate. All right, your view the C, um, C, 20 modified truss rafter, um, stud, top plate, rafter, brace, vertical brace, rafter, tie, brace, top plate, um, two by, um, two by four stud, two by four, six, place plate, two by six, bottom cord. All right, typical detail for the drawing, the 20 foot truss rafter, um, fat, fat rafter, um, rafter, shown with the view with the using filler box to keep the brace member. Brace member in the vertical plane. The splice for the rafter and bottom corner of the nail together rougher than the rougher than the splice of the day. Drawing showing the placement of the rafter tie on the opposite side of the vertical placement, usually on the splice plate with the bottom of the cord if the one is needed. If the place is the side where the rafter is nailed, it can also serve as the filler block as unit modified truss. Shown view C with only when the specified plane of the construction should not be within an area subject to the high wind velocities, moderate heavy no, snowfall. In the type of the trusted rafter, the bottom cord is played for the rafters above the top plate of the construction plan, specifically in the best type of the trusted rafter purpose of the drawing must show the detail of the construction feature of the rafter selected. Heavy wood framing. Heavy wood framing consists of the framing of the members of the timber construction at least six inches in the dimension. For example, the two by six and four by twelve inches. For example, the type of the framing, the heavy roof trusses, the timber trestle, bridge of the wharves, and the major differences between light and heavy framing are side of the over the timber you for the type of the classroom use. Age foundation plan. Figure eleven to nineteen, uh, one nineteen. Show over the page one two. Show over the foundation plan. The foundation starting point with the construction detail drawings. Specification for the plan usually attached on the separate sheet. Right, 131. Oh, this shows the detail of the foundation plan. Um, All right, before a construction project, we're going to start with the make out of the building materials for sure. Very quick, requisition building materials. However, you first make with the materials, take off the list of the materials, estimated list before making them out of the bill of made of materials. One, three, materials take off the list. The list of the first step leading with the preparation bill of materials. The list of all the parts of the building taking off the plan. Figure one, show that the material take off the list from the building structure. Substructure are shown in figure 120 and 121. Um, footers, better foundation, post gap, the girders, joists, joist places, block bridge enclosure, floors, number of pieces, unit, length of the place, size, length of the number of the parts, length of the quantity. Um, one, four, materials, bet, um, estimated list. So material estimated list, but materials take off the list of information for the short form added line with the Waste of the breakage and estimate the quantity for the materials needed with the table of one, page 125, the lumber required, listed in board, um, and by board feet or BF. Board feet, computation, board feet, unit measure representing with the area with the one foot by one foot, one inch thick, with the number of the board's feet, with a piece of the lumber can be computed using the following methods. Rapid estimate, you can estimate the board foot and board foot by the rapid by using the table of one page of the 125. With the example of the reading of the table, you can see that if the two inch by 12 inch board is 16 feet long, your board the feet will be then 32, 32 foot. All right, this shows this is a picture of a 40 20 by 40 foot building wide substructure ground level the post gap the fill the joist the sub flooring the flooring footing girder and sub ice plate with a roof jo flooring joist um rejoin reinforced double joist and double joist post sub splice plate bridging sub flooring girder and scab length of building in 10 foot increments 
All right, this is a sample of military as, mil, um, materials estimate item the size of the length of the unit. Um, take off the quantities, waste allowances, al additional requirements, type quantity, me board for me foot measure, um, board feet, measurements, numbers, and sizes. Arithmetic tick method determine the number of the board foot and one of the more pieces of the lumber. The following is from the board foot A is equal to the number of the times the thickness. Um, times the width, times the length in feet, divided by 12. If the unit measure for the length of the inch is divided by 144 instead of 12, board feet numbered by thickness and inches width and the inches length and inches by 144. Sample the problem, find the number of the board foot piece of the lumber, number two thick of the inch wide, the six foot long, figure 121. One times two times 10 times six divided by 12 is 120 over 12 with 10 foot board foot. Sample the problem, find the number of the board foot and 10 pieces of lumber to the inch thick of the 10 foot wide with six feet long. 10 by two, um, 10 by two by six by 12 equals 100, well 1200 by over 12 is 100 board foot. Sample problem three, with the final number of the board foot piece of lumber to two inches thick with 10 inches wide with the 18 inches long. 1 by 2 by 10, 1 times 2 times 10 times 18 divided by 144 is equal to 2 and a half foot board foot. All right, your lumber dimensions um, show the width at 2 inches, the is your length at six, and a half, six, and 6 foot and 10 foot and uh, 10 inches. The tabular method is the standard excess board measure for the table. The fig um, figure, quick computing the board foot located on the back of the bill A with the framing square used. Is used um, for the board measure for the take with all the computation and computation the base for the one inch thickness for the length for the vault marking with the, along with the outer of the blades re representing with the board of the one inch thick for the three dimension length with the provided with the vertical column figures and twelve inch marks. Sample problem to compute the board foot piece for the lumber that is eight inches wide, fourteen foot long, and four inches thick. Find the number 14 vertical column under the 12 inch mark. Follow, um, follow the guideline with the number of the 14 laterally across the blade until the reach of the number on the line that is directly under the inch marking ma matching the width of the, of the lumber. Example under the eight, uh, 18 inches of the guideline, move to the left and 14 with the number of the 9 and 4 with the period 9 and 4 should be on the same line as the 14 number of the left of the vertical line the representing with the feet, number of the right representing with the inches. The total number of the 37 and the third board foot with the board foot will never appear within decimal form. Example of one quarter inch from one, or sorry, one inch by four inch by 80 foot by 12, 14 feet and include the nine by four, nine times four, the 36, four times four, 16 and 12, then one and four and 12, the 13. 36 times um, 1 and a third and time equals 37 and a third foot. All right, note that 1 inch by 4 inch always multiplies the number of the piece for the thickness, multiply the feet of the, of the inch of the sum of the, the piece in the thickness. 1 six, estimate the quantity of the nails required that side of the columns with the nails and knees should be added to the list. The estimated number of the pounds using the following formula for the, for the floor, sheeting, and the other 1 inch material number of the pounds. 2D by 8D divided by 4 is board for a foot for the 100 for the framing. There's uh, 2 inches more. The number of the pounds 10D by 60D to 60D by divided by 6 by the board feet over 100, um, where D is equal to the penny. Bill of Materials um, 107. Now, the, inform the information of the Bill of Materials taken for the materials estimated lift of the Department of Army Form 2702. Figure 223 for the requisition of the material preparing with the Bill of Materials filed with the building sequence. For the example, the board framing material for the first piece of the lumber shall be also be the, would be footers. Now, ne next would be the floor with the joist curve and the subflooring sole plate and studs. This is what a Bill of Material works for. Um, this is figure um, DA Form 202702. Uh, uh, the part cover the basic building materials, which include lumber, the hardware, the terminal hardware, identify the metal of the um, item to the, uh, the cover, and the general type of the hardware of the rough and the finish of the rough hardware. It's usually used when extra strength is required, but not direct and uh, decorative. The finished hardware is used for the ornamental purposes, such as the hinges, draw bar, draw, draw, drawer bowls, drawer pulls, and other miscellaneous forms. 1 8 lumber side of the soft of the building construction lumber are standardized for the convenience in order, for the, um, in order of handling. Lumber saw in the same the nominal side of lengths 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 foot length. Width um, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 inches. The thickness 1 to 2, 4 inches. Actual width of the thickness of the dress um, lumber is less than the saw dimension because of the drying of the, drying of the painting of the finish. For a relative difference between the saw and rough and nominal dimensions, the actual side of the construction lumber is tabled 1, 6. Plant plywood is usually four foot by eight inch um, by eight foot varies in the thickness of the one to eighth of an inch to one inch. Stock panels are usually forty eight inches wide, length with varying in the multiple iron when sixteen inches with up to eight feet and they um, because of the acceptable spacing the studs and joints in sixteen inches. 
Nails. Nails are most commonly used with items that are under the classification of rough hardware type. Tie, tie the nails to the different side with the divided into two general types of wire and cut. Also, special nails are available for the same job. Wire nails. Wire nails are divided into five main, ty main types. Finishing, casing, and boxing, common, and duplex head. Nominal dress, si dress sizes of lumber. Finishing nails. Finishing nail. The box of the nails made with the same diameter wire with the head with the finishing with the main and a slightly larger diameter of the nail that can be embedded into the surface of the wood, thereby slightly depressing the top of the head, preventing the nail set with the slipping off of the head. The small hole from the made in the wood is filled with the putty and some other type of the fillers and high with the nail within the surface finish. Figure 124 shows the finished nail. Um, casing nail. The casing nails are in similar appearance to the finishing nail. Head out with the slider larger than no depression from the top. The nails are used to nail the doors and windows casings in place. 125 shows the casing nail. Boxing nail. Box nails are used with a box construction whenever there is a possibility of the splitting of the wood and the common nail. The head box nail is somewhat linear and larger than the diameter of the head of the common nail box line. Nails are sometimes cut with a special kind of seminate to prevent and to give them better holding quality. Figure 126 is the boxing nail. Common nails. Common nails have a thick flat head but they may become used in the most phase of the building construction. Figure 127 shows the common nail. Duplex head or double headed nail. The duplex head of the double headed nails are used as temporary construction, such as the framework with the scaffolding. Advantage, advantage of the using the type of the nails is removal, easy removal. They use the, 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 it has a collar that keeps the head away from the wood. Then the claw and the hammer can easily engage the head with the removal of the cut nail. The cut nail is wedge shaped with the head on the large end of the figure 122. They often use the nail flooring because they have good holding power and are made of very hard steel. Figure 129 shows the cutting nail. Special nails. Rough roof nails are sometimes used when the head is exposed to the weather. The head often rusts and cut with a black streak along with the grain of the wood. Even though they're painted, therefore it's desired to use the nail when the, uh, that will not rust. Plain wire nails that have zinc coating are often used where there is possibility of rusting. These are called galvanized nails, such as roofing nails. Drying drywall nails are, are used in the hanging drywall and preventing special coatings to prevent rust. The figure 130 shows the drywall nail. Masonry nail, concrete masonry nails, figure 131, are available in length of one quarter inch to four inches width of a single head. The nails are usually harder than the steel with the concrete nail, the thicker and used for the fastening me metal to the um, wood, um, wood metal or wood, fastened metal or wood to the um, masonry concrete. Sizes. Nail sizes are given with a penny number with a two penny with a six penny with a small letter with the, of the D is recognized with the abbreviation with a penny. The penny number refers to the length of the nail. The nails are normally packaged in 50 pound boxes. Table, say, um, Table 1, 7 on page 134, and you give the general side of the type of the nails, preferably specific, specific applications. All right, so um, 1, 2, um, one two and 10 is, um, then, then, um, is 3 inches, and then it climbs, uh, um, size and type of the U for the nails. All right, screws are another means for the fastening one member than another. Screws have an advantage over the nail. They have greater holding power, present with a neater, um, neater appearance. They have more decorative possibility for the nails. They also have the advantage of being easily removed and tightened. Phillips head. The screw with the either slot head of the Phillips head with the figure of 133. Phillips are head with the screws require a special screwdriver for driving them. Some of the advantage of the Phillips uh, head with the screwdriver. The screw does not slip out easily. That head is not as apt to the break in the, with the conventional type of the screw. Figure 133 shows the slide of the Phillips and Phillips head. Wood screws. Wood screws are made of iron, bronze, brass, the copper, or other materials. However, they are coated with the nickel and the chrome to match with the special finishing harbor the type of the HUD. Wood over the screw, the brown head, round head, the oval head, the flat head, which can either be slide or Phillips head, the round head screws. Round head screws are usually held and uh, used on surfaces where the head will show that the head is not countersunk for the region where they should have the polishing, polishing finish either the blued or po blue, blue, blow, blued or polished flat heading with the, the screw slot or slot roll should always be left in parallel position to the grain of the wood. Figure 134 shows the round screw head. Oval head screw for the overhead, overhead screws are fastened with the hinge below with the finishing of the hardware to the wood slot head with the screw slot for the screw the wood there be parallel to each other through the bare, bare appearances. Figure 135 shows overhead screws. Flat head screws. Flat head screws are used but the head will not show but the head will should be counted sunk until it leveled with and slightly below the finish surface. The flat head screws are usually exposed for the area that should be counted sunk with the hole that can be plunged. Figure 136 shows flat head screws. Other screws, black screws, black screws are longer than heavier than they may commonly wood screw with the coarser threads they have, the square and hexagonal heads. Figure 137, though they are, so you with the ordinary wood screws would, would um, be too short or too light with the spikes would not be strong enough. 
are your drive screws. Special screws made with the driven with the hand, but they also called the drive screws. Screws. They may also have the round head and usually made with the flat head. They may also have no no slot for the screwdriver. They also may come in large sizes with the square of the round heads. Thus, figure one and thirty-eight. The drive screw threads are far apart. The drive screws are available in the same size with the wood screws. Special screws. Many special hanging fastening screws with the screw type body with the screw eye. Often they use the picture of the frame screw door, but there's many other types. The curved screw with the curved screw square screw um, hooks are mainly used for the hanging of the articles. The curved screws are usually used used in sealing of the wall. The screw and square screws hooking is more often ten often ten of the vertical walls. All right, so the double screw, the hanger bolt, the cup or cup hook, the screw square head screw screw hook, curved screw hook, and screw eye. Sheet metal. Sheet metal, um, like wood screws, sheet metal, the screws that can also be slide the Phillips have, and they also use the for assembly metal parts. They all steel brass within the four types of the heads, flat and round, oval, the filister, and also shown in figure 140. The sheet metal screws, flat head, round heads, oval head, flat, and flat filister head. Apply the starting hole with the starter hole. Prepare the wood with the machine and the screw with the part um, bearing the pilot vault and by the hole the side of the dining room with the screw and the piece of the wood, the smaller starter hole, and then board into the piece of the wood to act as the ink of the hole with the screws and the hole not over the screws. Starter hole the diameter left then over the screw threads with the drive and drilled into the depth of one to quarter one half to two three and the length of the threads for the anchor. This is the message shown in figure fourteen one to show the accuracy of the place in the screw to reduce the possibility of the splitting of the wood. All right, this shows the pilot hole, counter sunk hole, and a starter hole. Co covering material both slide and the Phillips head flat screws with the counter sunk with the covering material the MBU the figure um, 142 shows the screw covered material. Anchor. Anchors. Fastening wood and other materials with concrete, other materials have also been taken to the cover of the anchor that's fast and the for the work divided into three general categories. The first group with an anchor that installed with the during with the initial construction. Second group with include with the anchors installed with the solid concrete masonry after the construction is completed. Third group with include with the anchors installed with the masonry plastic and drywall through the with that has a hollow space behind it. Anchor bolts. Anchor bolts. Figure four and forty three. You with the fastening still with the masonry foundry. The bolts are you with the fastening the still with the footers. Anchor bolts are installed when placing the footer while while concrete is still st um, wet. Anchor bolt show is shown in the in the in the, in the footer where it's wet. Um, expansion anchor bolt with the load screw with the plastic anchor with the lag extension um, expansion shield with all the work with the same basic drill the prop at the side of the hole insert with the expansion shield into the hole and then insert the screw with the lag bolt extend with the fastener to provide with a secure hole. Figure one forty shows to four shows the extend, expansion extend anchors are working. All right, this expansion anchor bolt. Molly universal screw anchors the Molly fasteners figure 144 at 5 with the solid means of detaching feature the interior wall fell out holding drilling drilling the same side of the in the outside diameter with the fastener of the fastener designed to expand and behind the wall and the covering. 145 shows the Molly universal screw anchor. Um, 112 bolts. Bolts are made of steel with either round or square with the octagon head with the threaded spank and you know, shank. The threads may run with the full length of the bolt and they may stop at a certain distance from the head of the leaving the small upper shank with the bolts are even the fastening tip of the steel with the other material the range of the diamond are three sixteenth one and one half inch with the length of three quarter inch to thirty inches. They are available in three main styles of stove bolts, machine bolts, and carriage bolts. Stove bolts, stove bolts are even the most in small items of the hardware, the round head and flat head stove bolts range in the length of three eighths of an inch to six inches. They are even the light core instructions, the round head and flat head, figuring one forty six stove bolts. Machine bolts are you the woodworking the usually square hole with the square nuts with the metal washer you with the under bolt of a head and nut. These washers prevent the head of the embedding in the wood but then keep the nut with them tearing the wood fibers in turn and or, or turn the two wrenches are required in tightening machining bolts. All right, 147 shows the machine bolts. You got your hexagonal head bolt and the square head nut. Um, carriage bolts. Carriage bolts are like machine bolts. Um, machine bolts except with the heads, which are round, and the shank of the carriage bolt in the square portion, which the drawing of the wood preventing the bolt from then turning the nut and tightening the washer is you with the nut, but not under the head of this bolt. Square on the common, the fin, fin neck, the rubber neck. Rim neck. Figure 4, 148 carriage bolts. Um, toggle bolts. Toggle bolts are you with the fastening fixture with the hollow um, wall with the two types of the toggle bolts, but pilot bolt types of the swinging wing type. Bolt types have the heads similar to those of the ordinary work screw. Both come in the various sizes. But pivot type. The pivot type has a men's steel channel with a nut slightly off of the center of the zone. The end of the channel is heavier than the other. The hole is drilled in the hollow wall with a block. The heavy end of the nut drops in the right angle with the bolt with the wind insert within the hole. The nut will pull tight against the drive wall and block the bolt and is tight. In figure 149, show the pivot type of the toggle, toggle bolt. 
Two spring wing type, spring wing type tackle bolters made like with a pivot type except for the winding is hinged in the center is held in a small spring and um, closed with in, inserting the into the wall with the snap thing open when it enters the hollow cavity of the world is show, wall is showing the figure of 1, 5, 40, and 50. 150 shows the spring wing to toggle bolt. 113 hinges. All hinges you with the move of the mo movable joint between the two pieces of the material hinges consists of the primary pin and two plates. There are three th three most common in you with the hinges. The four motors of the half surface of the full surface of the figure 151 show the basic design of the common door hinge. Uh, 151 show the common door hinge. The loose pin that you put use the nail and the hammer to use the out. Um, full mortise, full mortise bridge is in the cutting boards and the bottom of the door jam door with the leave of the full mortise, the engine with the completely hidden leaving the barrel exposed with the door is closed. Figure 152 shows the full mortise hinge, um, full, full, full surface, the full surface of the hinge is and is fastened directly to the door jam. No mortise is required. Note that the edge of the full mortise is beveled the surface of the frame door and left flush with the full surface of the hinge used. See half surface as shown in figure 154, half surface of the one type of the hinge is like other hinges except the one leaf is fastened on the surface of the door and the other leaf is fixed on the grain of the frame. Figure 153 shows the full surface of the hinge. Um, figure 154 shows the half surface of the hinge. Um, our right, cabinet hinges. The hinges that come in the main, main style of the finish with the leech for the type of cabinet. Either a full mortar with the full, a full, a full, a full, a full surface of the full half surface of the hinge for the cabinet. Work with a few hinges designed with the cabinet hinge that's shown in figure 155. Special and many other type of hinges are available to serve this show in figure 156. Double acting hinge, spring, spring hinge, um, inver invisible hinge, continuous piano hinge, screw hook and sh um, strap hinge, um, hinge hap. Alright, hinge haps. Hinge haps are like leggings except for the leaf of the figure 157. One leaf of the screw hole fastened with the hasp with the place the other leaf in the longer of the slot close. Cut near the outer end of the um, the metal loop of the rib of the square metal base for the loop of the hinge for the hasp with the net rib base for the loop of the loop is fastened in place for the four screws the slide long leaf of the hasp fits over the loop of the hinge of the hasp with the padlock locking device the long leaf of the safety hasp cover the edge with all the screws and when it was in the lock position. Safety hasp basket hasp hinge hasp fit with one fifty seven. All right, 115, locks and sticker plate with the third general type of the door lock for the tubular center line your cold mortise lock with a dead bolt with the rim locked installed with them provided with additional security tubular locks. Tubular locks are often advantage for the mortise lock with the air march even they're installed to cover the only bit. Need a board hole they usually main, ma mainly for the interior door of the bedroom, bathroom, passage cloth. Are they available to be the key terminal lock with the knob on the outside of the door with it in turn by the button push on the inside on the inside with the figure 158 show of the tubular lock set. Figure 158 tubular case lock, tubular case lock and um, lock and the knob. All right, cylindrical locks. Cylindrical locks, figure 159, are basically the same as duplicate locks. Cylindrical lock is pretty sort of heavy duty, strong, a stronger lock, which is used with exterior doors and maximum security. All right, your cylindrical lock. Mortise, mortise locks or mortise locks are usually mainly front outside door, but the high security present training with the weighing for the mortise locks because of the difficulty and the required to install them. So is your mortise and your lock and place plate striker. Dead bolts, dead bolts are you with the head security with the knee with the construction with the very hard wood or very hard steel. We're gonna figure one six with the combination dead bolt and combination dead bolt and latch. Dead bolt figure one sixty one combination dead bolt and latch. The rim locks. Rim locks are easily installed because of the normal install with the inside surface and exterior doors are on board hole and usually that is required one sometimes however the recess must be cut for the lock. 162 rim lock. Rim lock outside view, inside view. A striker plate. The striker plate in the figure 163 is usually mortised in the frame of the opening of the lock. This prevents wood from wearing and the splitting cannot be pried loose easily. So the striker plate route the casing, the nails, the door, stop, the side jams, and the framing studs. This page is intentionally left blank. Let's in one practice exercise. And answer key. Lesson two, tools and equipment. 